Today we're going to talk about hammers and hardies. They're a traditional mosaic tool that's been used for hundreds of years to break down all kinds of materials like marble, stones, glass, into tessera for mosaics. Basically, the hardy is a chisel that gets set in a piece of wood and the hammer is special, uh, made of steel, one side's for cutting stone and the other side in, this, in the case of this particular hammer is for cutting glass. Hammers come in three different weights, 450, 750, and 950. And part of it's personal preference in choosing a weight, but a lot of it has to do with what kind of materials you're cutting. If you're cutting a lot of hard stone, then a heavier hammer is a better choice. If you're just doing shaping, then you might want a lighter hammer. My personal preference is a medium weight hammer at 750 with tips for both stone and glass. Traditionally, our hardy would be set in a log such as this, a good hardwood log. This is the way it's been done for centuries, but we don't have all have access to that. So you can go to Home Depot or any improvement store and get a six by six. Um, of course, the top doesn't come drilled or ready to accept your hardy. So you would start by dry, drilling a half inch hole uh, deeper than the bottom of your hardy. This keeps the log from splitting, leaving a void down there. And then you can drill another hole with a larger bit, probably about an inch. It and you can chisel it out to be square, but it's not entirely necessary. Then just drop your hardy in. You want to get to having some of this shoulder exposed. And then we'll just take a little piece of wood, and give it a couple whacks. And this sets your hardy tightly into your log. So, You'll see we have lots of variations of the hardy on the table. This high one would be for a seated chair. And here we've done a six by six, but shorter, so you can use it as a tabletop hardy. And here we have a log. A lot of people have um, access to short pieces of wood. When you do select a piece of wood though, make sure it's a hardwood and not a pine. Um, it's harder wood and will stay stable longer. So this is a good tabletop option. Then we also have these two options. Both of these are made of steel. This one has a nylon insert for cleaving. These are great if you don't have a lot of space or if you want to take it to a class with you. Part of the reason it's traditionally sent in a log is to have a really good stable base. So regardless of any of these tabletop versions that you have, you need to have it on something solid. In this case, I have this on a stool and uh, so it makes a good base for me to cut on. Sure. And the same goes for this log. It could be placed on the stool or it can be on your table, but you need a really strong setup table. The question of sharpening your tools always comes up. As it applies to your hardy, you can just use a good grade metal file. But when it comes to your hammer, I always recommend taking it to a professional knife sharpener because we're dealing with different types of metal for glass being carbide and this end steel and they require different grinding wheels and it, you don't want to damage your expensive tool. And remember, <laughs> life's, life's a mosaic, mosaic. You, you pick, pick the, the pieces. pieces. I forgot we were saying it together.